Hi, this is Matt Newark here from Elite Defense Systems, and I'd like to go over, um, you know, out of this section here, we kind of have the last set of moves and their counters as well. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to start off uh, with the Somersault Reverse. This is from under north-south, just like all these moves and their counters will obviously be from the other position, which is on top of north-south. So I'm going to have uh, Doug come up here, here once again. <laughs> And when I get into this position right here, uh, he's going to get on top of north-south. And just like you probably saw in the last video, we're going to go ahead and do the exact same loop here. I start right here, and I get all the way over. Now, if you fall up on the side right here, it doesn't mean that you can't go for the choke. You just need to make sure that you get right back up on the back as well. So once again, as I go here, what I tell people to do is try to get their foot in there. Because if you fall too far over in your shoulder, you're going to fall up on the side. We need to try to go on the guy's back as much as possible. So as I go right here, I go up and over. And once I get right here, then I go ahead and I go right for my choke right here. So that's your somersault reverse. The counter to that, if Doug wants to go ahead and try that, feet down there, head down there. <clears throat> once he starts getting into position for this move, and you start feeling his momentum change, you're going to go ahead and counter with your front choke right here. I go right over here like this. I'm going to pike my body out, and that's what goes for the choke right there. And, you know, be careful with this one. There's a lot of leverage in a very short period of time on this, and uh, that's the one here. The second one we're going to go into is what's called the single roll from under north south. So I can, so we can trade with you again here real quick, buddy. Right. In this position, we can either go for a single roll just holding the arm right here, I suggest that you bridge a little bit so you can get the person off balance. So if they're laying on down on top of you right here, we go ahead and we wrap over this way. If you wrap over this way, you can get the leg as well. And either way, I'm bridging and the person's going right over just like this. We do that again. <clears throat> Once again, two variations. First variation is, is you go ahead and you just lock up the arm right here and we buck right over here. Second variation is we wrap the arm, but the leg is close. Now, if the leg's piped out, I obviously can't do this move. But if it's uh, folded on in here, I go ahead and I grab right here, go over this way. You can use this hand to kind of help buck you over. And obviously, that's what gets you over to that position right there. So uh, that is the second move, and then obviously the second uh, counter as well. The last one that we have right here is our uh, triangle from under north south. And this is a this is a move that kind of throws people off. I always try to push people and say, if you're under north south, how can we get into the triangle position? Uh, 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 right. Oh, I'm sorry. Before we go uh, go on to that, let's go over the counter on that. So if Doug goes ahead and goes for a single arm roll once again, what you want to do is we're going to go into what's called a shin choke. I pick up right here. And there's my choke right there. <clears throat> if he just does the normal arm wrap to right here, I can obviously use either leg. It's a little bit harder holding that one, especially if he's holding me down. So what I'd like you guys to really focus on is that if it's just the arm that he's grabbing, try to use the other leg. You're going to have a little bit more flexibility right here. If he happens to grab the leg, though, we have to think about this a little bit different. I'm going to have him grab my arm and leg on this side. So as he does this right here, this may be too tight to get over here, but guess what? My knee has an out, and it's right across his throat. So as I do that, then I go here. I'm not going to do it too much to Doug, at least on his throat, but I can put my leg on his chest to go ahead and kind of simulate this as I go out right here, that's what I would be doing right on his throat. So once again, a lot of power in a very, very short period of time. Okay, now let's get go, uh, go ahead and get to the third move here. Third move we have is a triangle from under north-south. In order to do this, we're gonna take our hands here, pitch them right up. As I go right here, my leg's going to go under the opposite armpit. I'm not going to go over the same one here. After I press him up with my arms, my hands here, I'm going to go here, hold on to his arm, spin around, and that gets me into the triangle move as a counter right here. I'll show that again. And I'll try to do things this way. Good. 
This goes up. Here, hold on to the arm. Remember the hips. When I'm doing a triangle hold, my hips have to be out to the open side, as they are right here. And here's my hold. The counter to this <coughs> is, uh, I think what a lot of people think about, forget about because they're so nervous about making sure they don't get locked up in the triangle move. Uh, our counter right here is the ankle lock. And let me kind of show you what we do here. Once again, the more proactive we can be, the better. So as the person gets their arms right under your armpits here, and they put that foot right under, you can go ahead and get right into your ankle lock right here. Okay, all right? So once again, and you're gonna understand that because the person's upside down when they're putting their foot under your armpit right there, who knows how they're gonna end that up. So therefore, you have to kind of be educated in what kind of ankle locks you have available to you because depending on where the toes point and the heel is, um, once again, you're gonna have to find out where that hook is. So once again, this is what it looks like again. He goes up, goes for his triangle, and once I get right here, if he goes all the way around as I'm standing up right here, I just go right back into my ankle lock. This is a little bit more messier situation. If the person's almost completely upside down, kind of watch Doug here as he, uh, as he has to kind of find his own balance mid-move right here. Feel that right there? Yeah. So, I, so, so I came down, and what I did is I came down more on the side of it right here, and as Doug can tell you, that's pretty painful right there. So once again, those are the three moves from under, north, south, and obviously the counters to go, uh, you know, with them. Thanks so much, and we'll train soon.